It's been quite some time since I last did a gaming related roundup video on the channel and I wish it could be something more positive, especially talking about the franchise which we are, because of course as some of you will have seen I recently put out a video essay about some of the reasons why I believe Test Drive Unlimited 1 was such a groundbreaking game and why it was such a huge part of my childhood growing up. So of course if you want to check that out and reminisce then of course that is still on the channel. This news though is more unfortunate. Not necessarily completely surprising, but still unfortunate nonetheless, it's regarding TDU3. In other words, Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown, as it's technically called, and there were really two disappointing bits of news regarding the game, one of which is commonly being talked about, and the other which is being kind of secondary to that, but which I think is more concerning, certainly for some players. Now the obvious thing, as some of you will have seen already, is it's been delayed. Not necessarily a big surprise there. It was originally slated for a September 2022 release, of course Hong Kong being the map, one of the smaller maps of the series so far, but the more concerning thing, I think, justified but still unfortunate for many players, is actually not only are they delaying it until 2023, as yet an undefined period within 2023, but they have completely cancelled the PS4 and Xbox One version of the game. Now you would assume that they'd probably already started doing that, so to cancel it now is interesting. Now the reason why I say you could justify that decision is because if you really want to optimise the game to be as good as it can be, then sure, go for next gen. And in normal circumstances, that wouldn't really be a problem. The reason why it is a problem, and why it probably still will be in 2023, is of course because of the lack of PS5s for people. Now the Xbox not so much, but even then, getting your hands on the latest console isn't always everyone's option. For financial reasons, maybe you know other variables that I can't even mention here, it depends on a personal case-by-case -case basis, but not everyone can get their hands on, afford, whatever, the latest console. So that is an interesting choice. As I said, you can understand why they would do it, but it is definitely not something which I would say they've done to try and make more money, because they're definitely going to make less by making that choice, because you're not going to get any PS4 sales, any Xbox One sales, so from a business point of view, it's kind of a back step. In terms of the quality of the game, hopefully it turns out to be a forward step. That in conjunction with the delay means, as I said, it is unfortunate news overall, but at the very least, at least if they are releasing it later, it gives them more of a chance to polish the game, make sure it delivers as much of that kind of iconic experience, that lifestyle experience which Test Drive Unlimited is all about, which the other ones did so well, in my opinion, especially the first one, but even the second one as well. So my hopes are still good. I wouldn't say it's like crazy high for me, because the focus in particular on the solar crown being the centre point of the game, that's my biggest concern. You know, if the game is just about the racing, which the second one was already moving towards, then that doesn't interest me quite as much as the first one. In the first one, as I believe I mentioned in my video essay, the racing always felt like a means to an end that it was actually just about enjoying the cars, and then you just race so that you can buy more. In the second game, it was much more overtly about the racing and becoming, you know, the Solar Crown champion. This literally has it in the name of the game, so if anything, it would seem to be pushing that idea even more. So I hope they keep a good balance on that and keep some of those original values. Ultimately though, that's it for this bit of news. I wish I could tell you better news, but unfortunately that's the way it is this time. So of course, drop your thoughts down below. Are you, like me, a huge TDU fan? Did you grow up playing it as I did? And of course, I know some of you will have probably found the channel from Test Drive content that I did, because there is quite a bit of it here on the channel to check out. But until next time, I'll see you, hopefully, with some better Test Drive Unlimited news. And until then, I'll see you next time. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.